Yo guys, what is happening among my 12 play games and welcome to another episode of our city let's play. Yeah guys, we're here again. We're back here in Minecraft, our special world. Um, <laughs> We're going to be playing around here. Actually, we're not going to be playing around too much. Well, we are going to be playing around. We're going to be touring this mansion though. And this mansion, guys, I love this mansion. It's, it's super cool. I've been working on it. Working on it over like, I guess like a week. It's probably how long it took me. Maybe, maybe a little shorter, maybe a couple days. I mean, I was on and off. I mean, it was probably over the span of a week, but I was on and off, you know, not not working every single day, eight-hour days on this mansion, obviously. Um, I was just spending a couple hours here and there. But yeah, it took me around a week, and um, and this is what we have, and I really do like the style of the mansion. I don't know. I think it's really cool. I added some some quartz accents here with the stone brick, and then I used quartz on the thing with this, I think it's cyan terracotta. Yes, okay, and that's what I did there. I have this really cool garage area and a bunch of other cool features that I'm super excited to get into. So yeah, I hope you guys are ready. Um, this is super cool. It's located right here, by the way, in the city. Yeah, so if the pier is over there and the downtown's over there, the building is right here. So uh, it's kind of in more of a formal housing area, if you will. And this is sort of what I'm going to be putting over here. A bunch of really nice houses. I've started up work on another one here. Actually, I believe it's done. Yeah. But this is a much bigger house, and this is a uh, much more interesting design. I've tried a bunch of arches and stuff like that. I think it looks really cool. Or not arches, but more like dormer kind of things. Very interesting, but uh, maybe I'll just do a quick fly around of the house so you guys can kind of get a feel for it. This side is kind of more boring. It's very plain, but then if we go around to the back here, guys, we've got again a little bit more of a boring section, but then this area gets pretty cool. We got a little bit of, of movement in the shape. I don't know. It's just a really big house. kind of hard to make it look interesting. We'll get to this in a second. It's very neat. Another little dormer area up there, and then it just sort of comes back around to the front. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. Let's jump into it here. You walk in. There's a couple fountains to your right and your left. And then we got some garages down here. We'll just follow the driveway here for a second. Got a lot of garages here. So you can start all your favorite cars here at this mansion. I don't know what kind of cars you'll be driving. Maybe some Ferraris. Maybe some Lambos. And whatever else. Yeah, maybe have a uh, a Porsche. Yeah, a Porsche. If you guys watch my uh, my Forza videos, you know it's like my favorite cars. Porsche 944. But we're not getting into that right now. Yeah, if you have a Porsche, you can put it right there. Anyway, let's jump into the main lobby here. A lot smaller than some of the other mansions I've done. But I feel like this is a pretty appropriate size lobby not too big not too small i think it does the trick nice it's got a little balcony up top so i think it kind of looks good over here we have a office so yeah if you had a lot of work to do or whatnot you guys could just come to this office and get to work if we come around actually how should i do this so you guys don't get lost all right i know what we're gonna do we're gonna go left first so if we go left first this will be the entrance to the basement we'll get to that later if we come around here we can walk around the outside courtyard area and then we get down here into the garage. So this is the big four car garage. That's what's on this side of the house. There's also something past there, but we'll get to that later as well because the entrance is upstairs. We'll go this way now. So if we go the main lobby again, we're over on this side. If we go this way, we get into the dining room. And then, uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice dining room. It seats like what? Eight people. That's pretty decent. We got a kitchen right through here. Lots of big fridges and, and counter space and a nice view of the of the backyard and the, and the basketball court. Uh, I guess we can go out here. This is the the outdoor relaxation area. I've put lights in each one of the trees and and you know glowstone around. It looks super cool at night. In fact, why don't we just set it to Simes at night? And there we go, guys. We have it like so. Actually, can we do a little bit further there? Can we do like seventeen thousand? Is that how you do it? There we go. You guys can see it looks pretty cool at night. We've got a little like bar area over here, and then uh, and then this is like you know a little pool maintenance box back here. <laughs> I don't know. A little sitting area though. Waterfall. Very, very cool. And then another glass little thing that you can look over. Anyway, I think the backyard turned out pretty awesome. This guy looks over your backyard, which is a little unfortunate, but it's a pretty nice backyard. By the way, I am recording this on the same day as the last video, so that's why all the old commands are up here. So don't don't worry about that. Anyway, guys, you have a nice kitchen, like island almost, and then a nice dining little like breakfast table over there. You've got a little living room over here, which is actually pretty nice. I think it's a nice little touch. A more formal living room through here. So if you want to have like a serious conversation or whatever, you could go in here. Wanted to get away from the rest of the family and the big parties that you're having, you go in there. And then you have another living room right here. And then this brings us around to the loop right here, which brings us back to the office, back to the main hallway. That's like pretty much the entire loop. Let's start off though by going upstairs. I think that's pretty cool. We've basically covered everything. I don't have any bathrooms in the house. That's kind of something that I don't usually do, so I just sort of left them out on this one as well. Nice view of the pool out that window. Uh, we'll start with the master bedroom over here. We've got a pretty decent sized master bedroom, I'd say. It's uh, It's got a whole, like, you know, a pretty large size bed here. <laughs> and then a um, nice rug, some TVs, some TVs, multiple TVs, because it's like three TVs. It's more like one really long TV, an ultra wide TV. Um, and then a dresser over here. 
through the door, we actually have a little, like, actually we do have a bathroom here. It's kind of a little bathroom area. We've got a closet through here, which is already filling up with clothes. Wow, okay. And, and yeah, yeah, I did put those clothes in there. It's, you know, sort of a demo. I was just staging the house, kind of showing off what what it could look like if you own the place. You just start put your stuff in there. And then if you go up this ladder, we end up right here in this another little living area, which is upstairs in the master bedroom. So this area is pretty cool. It's like a little reading nook or whatever you want to call it. You can walk all the way around here in the dormer. And then this is the dormer over here, which pops out right there, which I think is uh, which I think is very cool. And then we also got the other side there, which again, you can look down at the basketball court, almost not really, but uh, it's, it'll be a relatively decent view, I suppose. Anyway, let's go back down. Let's tour the rest of the upstairs area. Sorry guys, I'm already noticing that I'm making a bunch of cuts in this video. I'm gonna try to slow it down a little bit and not make so many cuts. I'm just sort of rushing things here, I feel. We've got another bedroom here, another mini bedroom. I'm actually gonna rush to the bedrooms pretty fast because they're pretty boring. Another bedroom right here. This is actually a pretty nice bedroom. Nice views over the, uh, the front area. I've done the grass all special like this with lights. But yeah, I do the grass like that, make it look a little more well kept than it would have if it was just straight grass, if you know what I mean. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. And then we got like more of a child room here, like you'd have a bunch of room to play and whatnot, and then a little bed in the corner, TV, maybe a little fish aquarium. I think as well as going forward that. Also a cool view of the hills. However, uh, there'll probably be houses there, so yeah, you won't be able to see that forever. If we continue around the corner from the child's bedroom or whatever, whoever's bedroom that is, we run into the uh, the balcony over the over the front area, which I think is a pretty nice looking balcony. And then, uh, should we go this way? We'll finish out the bedrooms, actually. We've got this bedroom right here, and uh, yeah, that's just another bedroom. Now, if you guys are wondering, where do your guests stay? Actually, we'll go there in a second. First of all, we got an attic up here. Nothing ex nothing exciting, just an attic. I guess the owner can do whatever he wants with it once he buys the house. Little doors that go into nowhere. Um, yeah, this is the cool area. Once you got your guests and your staff, you want a place for them to stay, they go over here. You got a bridge over here, but then you can also go around this loop here, just like so. It's just a massive loop. Um, so yeah, it's looking over the courtyard. Here's our staff quarters, though. Staff, you guys all got to stay in here. You actually get your own nice little quarters, a little kitchen, eating area in the morning, and a little couch to sit on, chest to put your stuff in, and then two staff can stay on. And, you know, in total, the rest of them can come in, whatever, you know, if they want to come in the house, they can do that. We got the guest stay over here, the guest rooms over here. We've got three guest quarters. So we've got that room, we've got that room, and then we've got that room. I guess you can maybe have up to like six, seven guests in here, which is pretty awesome. I guess we can go upstairs here, which is actually really sick. We've got a little sitting area, a little kitchen, and then we've got a bowling alley. Now this is a really cool uh, thing that I decided to put in here. We've got these little things representing the bowling pegs, a little purple here to do whatever purple does. And then a little TV here to display your um, your score. And yeah, little benches to sit here. I think it's just a really cool addition to the house. If we make our way downstairs from the bowling alley and downstairs into here, this is the area that I said you couldn't access from the garage. You've got a kitchen, another living room, and another living room. Uh, dining room. <laughs> dining room and another living room. And yeah, a nice view out into the courtyard again here. Nice area for the guests to stay, though. I think that's overall a pretty nice guest like area. Almost like a guest house, but it's attached. So it's definitely cool to have. I think that's everything for the second floor, though. Yeah, so that's everything for the second floor. If we pop back down to the first floor, though, we're going to enter into the basement, which I think is probably the coolest part of the house. I'm going to take you through it all. It's very, very cool. I'm telling you guys, a lot of cool stuff happens in the basement. If we go down here, first of all, this is a little iron door, which brings you into an iron area. I know there's dirt up here, but it's actually part of the garden, so I can't destroy it. So it's there. I know, it's kind of annoying. But we get down here, which is the safe room. So if there's ever like a nuclear attack or whatever, we have a fallout shelter here that we can go to. Or maybe there's an intruder, we can go down here. They've got a little bit of a bedding down here, so four people can come down here and be safe. Probably more. I mean, let's be honest. You could pack this place up. We got a little sitting area, though, or a little, little uh, one chair. <laughs> We've got a little eating area here, like a little island, and then another little eating area over here. So I think you'd be pretty comfortable if you came down here. You were stuck down here for whatever reason. It's like the same size as most apartments that we build, so, I mean, it's pretty awesome to have one that's just downstairs inside of your house. I suppose if your children were being naughty and whatnot or you need another place for guests to stay, you could put them down there as well. Uh, I'm just kidding, of course. In this room, we have a chest room, a nice little storage area. Over here, we have a full-size movie theater, which I think is pretty awesome. We've got some lights going along here, uh, which is actually part of, part of the ground, part of the roof of the underground area here, which is another underground area, which we'll get into. <laughs> We've got a massive screen here with some buttons sort of representing speakers, but that didn't really work. A lot of couches here. Nice area to sit and watch a movie uh, for sure. We've got a wine cellar right here. A nice little glass wine cellar. Definitely 
every mansion should have one of those, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then we got a sauna in here. I know it doesn't really look like a sauna, but it's supposed to be a sauna is what I was going for. Another nice big open living room here. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. We've got another living room over here with a bunch of seats to watch the basketball game <laughs> for whoever's playing basketball. You guys got a whole, whole game here. It's not a large court, but it's definitely cool. We also got indoor library over here. Well, I guess everything's indoor, but we have a library. So yeah, if you're done at the master bedroom, maybe you're not staying in the master bedroom and you want to read a book, you guys can come down here and, uh, and read in the library. Very cool. Now, if we get down here, this is like the sub-basement underneath the basement. It's like the basement of the basement. Pretty cool, right? We've got another pool right through here. It's just another indoor pool. We've got another waterfall as well. I didn't add any change rooms here. That was kind of dumb. Maybe the change rooms can go in these little rooms eventually. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Probably not. I probably won't do it. That's okay, though. You know what? There are change rooms at the end of the hall, though. There's actually a little cupboard in here or a storage area. But then there's also change rooms in here, which you can change in, and then walk down the hallway and in here. So... Overall, we got the change rooms kind of covered. If you go into this area, this is the basketball court, of course. I think I still need to draw some lines on the court here. But you guys can see there's a glass viewing window and then look up into the sky at your house. It's pretty cool. So, I mean, obviously, this would be a super cool house just for partying and inviting people over. Along the corner here, or not along the corner, along the corner, what am I saying? Down the hallway here, we have a go-kart track. Now, obviously, there's no go-karting in Minecraft, so it's just like... Just use boats. It's more of a boat race track because if there was go-karting, that'd be cool, but it's more of a boat race track, which I will complete here. This is very cool. That's the bottom of the movie theater. That's why I said that kind of fits in there. I don't know what the heck is going on outside. Something's buzzing. Yeah, so uh, that's sort of the floor of the music, or not the music room, the movie theater. <laughs> if we can get around the corner here, this is so hard. Um, here we go. Oh my gosh, I've actually been practicing, so I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. You guys can obviously... Maybe practice one day if you built one of these in your world or if you ever were able to come on this world. Maybe one day I'll make that happen. You guys can come along here and practice. This is a little equipment storage area over here where you guys can, you know, grab your helmets and whatnot. I say you guys, but maybe the owner of the uh, <laughs> the owner of the house could a little sitting area also for eating and that couch. A lot of uh, a lot of bare necessities almost not bare necessities, what am I saying? It's a it's a go-kart track. I'm pretty sure nobody needs a go-kart track in their house, but you have one. And I think it's pretty cool. So if we head back up here. I think that's actually pretty much everything for the house. That's the, the two basements, and I think I did a, a pretty good job. I don't usually do basements, but I decided to do one here because I just wanted to make it epic, like the best house on the block, which I think I did. The roof line is one thing that sort of bugs me. By the way, you can get up to the roof through here, just in case you need to do that. Up in the attic, you guys can just, you guys. What am I saying? You can do that, or the owner of the house can do that. Yeah, the one thing about the roof line that bugs me is that this is a lot taller than this part, and it would have been the same height. However, I did open this up here as a courtyard, so it kind of does that. I don't know if it really bothered you guys at all, but it kind of bugs me how that's taller. Now, actually, no, it's not even that noticeable, to be honest. I don't know. But yeah, guys, that is the house as it turns to nighttime here. The house is kind of lighting itself up. We got glowing trees, glowing everything, basically. Super, super cool. I definitely like it a lot, and I hope you guys liked it too. Maybe one day we can actually go ahead and build one of these on camera together, like a full thing. It probably had to be two or three part episode, but I'd love to do it one time. Let's definitely do it. Let's make it happen. Come on, guys. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to go on below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next video.